All right, let's go. Not one, we got two. Maybe to thirteen. First question is: Information technology is the application of computer science to solve real, so real life problems. Oh, that's a very weird definition. Outline one example of IT being used in each of the following. Oh, yeah. Um, we could use um, MRI slash CT scan machines that output results to the screen. All right. You see when I say outline, you have to you have to give um uh, some sort of wording. Um. Really? I'm not too sure if an x-ray machine is actually IT, you know, because an x-ray machine is just like a picture of they try to shoot photons through your body and it bounces back. They don't really have any, mm, they don't really have any processor or anything like that. Say. Um, that's not much of the, um, nah, it wouldn't be x-ray. It has to have some sort of processing or some sort of program in it, so that's what it, that's what it's specifically in computer science. There's some, there had to be some sort of code for processing, right? All right, so education or education really easy. Um, using the internet and um, um, voice of IP to teach classes. All right, so you, you remember the answer is two marks. So you're trying to give some sort of clarity, like, okay, you know about this and you're going to explain how it is used. So the fact that the internet and you use voice of IP calling, that's the the kind of model I am supposed to try to follow. Um, yeah, right. So there are many, many answers that you could put. Just try to make sure that you model them along the lines of what it will take to get the two marks, right? All right. For each aspect of computer science identified below, describe its function in IT solutions. Programming um, would create applications to accomplish specific tasks in the system. Nice, and then databases would allow for efficient storage and retrieval of information in the system. The definition are really necessary. They just want you to be able to apply it. So yeah, your second part, the answer was the actual application. So just keep in, keep in mind, um, keep in mind what they are asking. So if it says describe the function in IT solutions, that is what you want to do. All right, so I'll put our questions in. Okay. Information technology involves the use of data. Distinguish between the following forms of data qualitative and quantitative. So, this is kind of straightforward. Qualitative is subjective or based on feelings. feelings. Yeah. Quantitative is objective and based on facts. Sampled is um, data that is. Um, in food based on a smaller set of data. Detail is data that is collected on every uh, part of the system or something like that. Yep. Yeah, basically it's two marks, so I kind of overwrote it because um, that's, what, that's what I tend to ask you all to do to make sure that you secure the marks. But qualitative, subjective, if it does have subjective alone, that's cool if you are based on feelings and quantitative, based on facts. Sample input based on a small set of data, so you take a small set and you uh, create a conclusion. Detail is everything that should be I construct a diagram which illustrates the relationship of data, knowledge, and information. Um, you, have three, you have two ways I could do it. I think I have in my notes. There are two ways. One is you could do the pyramid version, which will be pyramid, and then you have data, info, and then knowledge. So that'll be three marks. Or you could do it in a block diagram, and you put data, info, and knowledge. But you have to be able to put the, the um, well, they might just be asking for the three marks, but they did show you that data, knowledge, and information are the three things. So you have to be able to show the, the what causes it. So data when given context becomes information and information when up, um, given up, uh, application would give you knowledge for yeah, how to apply it. So the same thing will go for these here. The yeah, article context will be for that and then uh, application what they get for knowledge. So application or scenario would be acceptable words there but definitely data when you give it context is for information. Okay. If you just have the diagram alone with these three parts, you wouldn't get any marks because they give you three parts. What they really want to know is can you put them in the correct order and show how they lead into each other. Alright, so we should be good there. 
All right, next one, information processing is integral to information technology. The information processing cycle is a sequence of four main activities performed by a computer. Identify four activities. Well, that's input, processing, output, and storage. And if you want to be cool about it, you can hit the MD feedback too, if you want to. But basically, the four parts is input, process, output, storage. They didn't ask you to order the actor to construct a diagram illustrating it. Well, hey, look at that. Let's put some boxes around them. Right, a box here. Input, process, and output, storage. Input goes into process, output, and storage. We'll just have two arrows. For the storage, I don't know if they will, um, more than likely they will require that you have two arrows to show that storage could be stored or retrieved. Either way, you're getting three marks of putting in the arrows basically. Okay, this question was rather kickish. Wow. Information can be used in decision, sorry, information to be used in decision making should exhibit certain characteristics. The two of these characteristics um, it should be accurate, finally. Oh, okay. Now for a question like this, you have to kind of look at the next part to see if they're going to ask you to explain it because more often than not, they will ask you to stay two and then ask you to explain it. So look, it says here, yeah, explain how each of the things identified in B part 1 is important. So you could look at the banking system and then think about the ones that will matter to you or be easiest to explain so if you say timely and um so let's say for a bank it might be better to be um might better to be current and accurate yep yeah that's cool so current and accurate would be two that i would choose of course there are many others but you just you, you should just be able to justify them so if i put current i have to be able to say currency means that um the um exchange rate should be current or the bank could lose money with the old exchange rate old rate from from a d okay, yeah. and then with the accurate I could say accurate the amount of profit should be based on accurate figures or else the balance sheets may be off or something like that. So your example, because it's four marks, you're looking to get two marks in your answer. So if you say something, you have to give like the negative effect or the positive effect that will happen. So it's kind of like a cause and effect answer that you're trying to look for. Alright, next one, explain term garbage in, garbage out in the context of information technology. If you put bad data into a system, you will get bad information coming out. Okay, next. Alright, computer hardware and software characteristics and capabilities have changed over the last 30 years. Identify one way in which each of the following has been. Size of hardware has gotten smaller, but computers are really big. Processor speed increased because processors have gotten faster. Oh, I can't believe that that's a question. Okay. Outline the function of each of the following tools in the transmission of information. The modem, what does a modem do? It um, converts digital signal to analog and vice versa. Alright, so digital to analog and back. The antenna, Ooh, yeah, antenna. This was not new still about certain pattern cut out to captures, radio waves, waves, waves. I want to say waves, captures, radio waves. Send five Wi Fi transmitters. Our browser, um, our browser decodes HTML code and displays it to the user. Yeah, accent. You'll get one mark because it displays it, but you have to, you have to be able to show that it's HTML that it decodes. Yeah. All right, next one is Magdalene owns a small business and wishes to improve. Right, Magdalene owns a small business and wishes to improve its efficiency by computerizing some aspects of the business. She has recently purchased her office productivity suite. Okay, for each business task identified below, specify the tool that you would use uh, in the productivity suite and the most appropriate for use. Okay. Preparing letters for clients, that is clearly um, word processing. Yes, so you have to 
You have to identify the tool first and then say how you're going to use it. So word processing, the most appropriate use is mail merge because um, you have to give the actual name of it like a mail merge and then to send letters to all clients. Um, not just normal letters to send, um, to send personalized letters to all clients. Nice. Um, yeah, that's basically, that's your straightforward answer there. It's an order answer that you could really put there that will get the marks because all the other features of Office, I mean, with Mr. and really do that much. I prepare an accounting statements with the spreadsheets and your thing will be formulas and functions. Formulas and functions would be, um, to calculate, um, figures, um, automatically. Alright. Next one is managing inventory and stock. This will clearly be a database management software and your thing will be um, forms and queries. You can put tables, queries, forms or reports, right? Any one of those four are usually what you associate with a database management tool. So forms and queries and then you're going to say to input data and search for um, stock efficiently. And then creating a company newsletter, this will be desktop publishing and the feature will be like a flyer. No, not flyer. The feature will be um, um, templates, yeah, because you could use the templates that they have as the publishing and the feature will be templates for newsletter. A template can be used to insert pictures and text for the yeah, pictures and text for the newsletter. Yep. That'll be, uh, be a basic answer.